hello everyone you are welcome to mass explorer in this video i'm going to solve this nice comparing math problem that which one number of them is greater and which one of them is smaller now here the first number is 18 raised to power 16 and the second number is 16 raised to power 18. now to compare these two numbers let us suppose this number is equal to a and this second number is equal to b now to prove that which one of them is greater and which one of them is smaller so here we will use a result so here we will use this result to prove this problem the result is if a divided by b is less than 1 then a must be less than b now the second result is if a divided by b is greater than 1 then a must be greater than b so here we will try to use any one result from them now to bring these two numbers in this form here we will divide this first number by second number so let us divide the first number that is 18 raised to the power 16 with second number that is 16 raised to power 18 now what we will do here here we will factorize 18 in the numerator so we can write 18 is 2 times 9 raised to the power 16 and here we will change this 16 to its exponential form we can write 16 as 2 raised to power 4 means we can write 16 as a product of 2 power times raised to the power 18 now here in the numerator we will split this power over 2 and 9 and in the denominator we will use an exponential math property and we will multiply these two powers so this will become here we can write the numerator as 2 raised to power 16 times 9 raised to power 16 divided by this will become 2 raised to power we will multiply these two numbers so 18 times 4 is above 72 now here the base of these two numbers is same so we will split this number from the division of these two numbers so next we can write this division as is equal to 2 raised to power 16 divided by 2 raised to power 72 times 9 raised to power 16 now here the base of these two numbers in the numerator and denominator is same so here we will use the same base division property so here we will use this formula in the first one number rs to power m divided by rs to power n can also be written as rs to power m minus n so by using this exponential property here this number will become is equal to 2 raised to power we will subtract the power so the powers are 16 minus 72 times 9 raised to power 16 now this will become 2 raised to power the subtraction of these numbers gives him minus 56 times 9 raised to power 16 now here the power of this number is negative so here we will use an exponential math property and we will move this number to the denominator of this number so the power of this number will become positive so here in this step you will use this one exponential math property rs to power minus n can also be written as 1 over rs to power positive n so using this exponential property here this number will become is equal to this will become 9 s to power 16 and this will become 2 raised to power 56 now what we will do here here we will change this 9 to its exponential form so we can write this 9 as 3 square or 3 raised to power 2 whole raised to power 16 divided by 2 raised to power 56 will be the same now here we will multiply these two powers 2 with 16 so this will become 3 raised to power 2 times 16 is 32 divided by this number will be the same 2 raised to power 50 
6. Now what we will do next? Next we will factorize these two numbers to the product of two different numbers. Having one number, the common. Now next we can write this number as 3 is to power 32 can be written as 4 times 8 which is 32 divided by 2 raised to power 56. 56 can be written as 7 times 8. Now here in the numerator and denominator we will use exponential math property and here we will out this same power 8. So here we will use this exponential property r s to power m times n can also be written as r s to power m or s to power n. So by using this exponential property here in the numerator and denominator of this number this number will become this will become 3 raised to power 4 all raised to power 8 divided by the denominator will become 2 raised to power 7 all raised to power 8 now here the power of numerator and denominator is common so we will take it out common so this will become 3 s to power 4 divided by 2 s to power 7 whole s to power a. Now we will find out the value of 3 s to power 4 and 2 s to power 7. Now the value of 3 s to power 4 is about multiplying 3 4 times it gives him 80 over. Now multiplying 2 7 times gives him about 128 whole s to the power Eight. Now here look it to the numerator this is 81 and look it to the denominator this is 128. So here we will compare these two numbers with a by b. So if we compare this fraction with this fraction so by comparing this 81 is a smaller number and this is a greater number. So the, their division gives him a number which is smaller than, than 1. So here this gives him a by b less than 1. So according to this one result here this number is smaller than this one. So this result gives him a is smaller than b according to our first one result that is this one. If a divided by b is smaller than 1 then a must be smaller than b. So using this one result here this is a and this is b so this fraction is less than 1 so according to this property a must be less than b what is the value of a now here the value of a is 18 raised to power 16 and the value of b is 16 raised to power 18 so using this one result here the first one number 18 raised to power is 16 is smaller than 16 raised to power 18 so this is our final answer and final result.